Um, yes. Let's go. Geeks, what's poppin'? What if? From Marvel Studios, Disney Plus, you know the deal. This is the animated Red Skull, but from the look on the box, you could use him as an MC Red Skull. You can even use him as a comic book Red Skull if you want to. Just use your imagination. Hopefully he looks as good as the render does. Comes with the Tesseract and an arm. Okay, this makes more sense. The Tesseract on the box was clear, and I was wondering why, but it actually isn't. It's blue in the box. They just can't get these renders right for nothing. Tesseract. Well, I try to figure out why Cuz is mean mugging me. Go ahead and bask in all of his black coated matrix looking glory. Keith Lee. He is not a bad looking chap. I gotta say though. If they're only going to give us one head skull, I think there should be some type of expression on it. The one thing you usually don't see from the red skull is a stoic face. He should either have like some type of evil smile or smirk or maybe a wide open mouth. I think they dropped the ball by giving us a head that looks like he's just trying to figure out his next chess move. Ooh, look at that egghead. All right, so the face looks really good. Even on the side. All right, so we get a 360 on that skull, no pun intended. Bonehead tilt left, bonehead tilt right. He looks down, but the range is a little suspect. Kind of more of a downward glance. Looking up is suspect as well. You see that neck skin from the back of his skull? Comes down a little bit too far. Stops the head from moving back as far as it should. More upward than up. Arms get up yay high, it's a bit limited. Give me an angry head sculpt. Wingspan limited, doesn't get parallel to the back. 360, no intermittent clicks. 360 at the bicep, nothing at the forearm. 360 at the wrist. Vertical hinges on both wrists. You get the repulsive blast and the kiss the ring. Double jointed pin elbows give you really good range. Thank you Hasbro for not giving him a full coat so you have an abdominal rocker. Alright, it said thank you too quickly. You barely get a crunch forward. And it barely goes back. You can lean with it a little bit. You can barely rock with it. And yeah, it rolls a little bit better. So you can get 360 up top maybe. Ooh, didn't feel like it. No, it stops halfway. Let me try it a little way. Oh yeah, there you go. Got it that way. So 360 up there, but it is tough. And you get 360 at the waist. Well, that got loose really fast. And thigh cut, yeah, thigh cut. You can get your hands under there for 360 at the thigh. Do a boot cut, no, not at the calf. 360 at the foot. All right, so with this stiff rubber coat, we're not even gonna try for the split or the van damage. Actually, we can't even get those knees back, so. That is out of the question. Toes do not point up far enough to call him a dancer, but look at that pointing down though. That is flush. I have never seen a better case for the soft goods argument. Because you lose all flexibility and mobility in the lower half of his body. Just put a coat on him. How tall is Mr. Stoic? A wee bit under six inches. There he is next to the comic book Red Skull that came out recently. As you can see, the comic book Red Skull is a lot taller and a lot wider. He's a buff. That red skull is all hopped up on that super soldier serum. And there is the what, 10 year MCU anniversary red skull. And so this is the part where you guys that don't like me not knowing bucks need to tune out, shut it down. 
I never opened my MCU Red Skull because I just started collecting in 2019. It was still in the box. I opened it for this review. So by never seeing it in hand, I'm not able to recognize those parts. You see how it works? Now that I have it open, now I see where the parts of the new one comes from. All they did was put this overcoat on him. Got the same legs, repainted, same arms, and they painted those red lines on his collar. So more Hasbro reuse. Gotta make that dollar stretch. And there are my three skulls together. All different shapes and sizes. If you think about doing some head swaps. I think this comic head is a little bit too big for the body. It's made for this swollen chest and those big arms. It just sits funny on it, but it does fit. But when you take the head from this guy and put it on that one, nope, ball joint's way too small. See, see how loose that is? Can't do anything with it. And you can put the MCU one on here and it fits fine, but that neck color doesn't work. All right, I have definitely seen enough Red Skull. I'm ready to render my verdict. Yo! He is a decent enough looking fellow. Depends what you're into. If you're looking for something new and updated, this is not him. All right, so what don't I like? All the old parts. He barely moves. His arm articulation is weak. His legs, you really can't articulate at all because of that hard coat that's around him. They should have used soft goods. Head sculpt's pretty good, but I think the fact that there's so much reuse in this figure, they could have worked in the budget to give us more than one head sculpt. If you're only going to give us one, don't give us a stoic look. That is not what Red Skull is known for. He's crazy and maniacal, so give me a screaming head or something that looks more evil, not just there waiting on cookies to bake. He also should have shipped with a pistol gripping hand or two, even though he didn't ship with any pistols, but if you have spare pistols, he packs them. He's a character that's going to hold a gun. Why not give us a gun holding hand and maybe a pistol? How about that, Hasbro? So this wave continues to be a little bit weak. I would say if you're not collecting the bath, and you already have any of the Red Skulls, you might skip over this one. I don't think it's worth it just for the head sculpt because you can't do much with them. And I'm not saying don't buy him. He's not an ugly figure. It's just that there's not enough new here to warrant a purchase if you're on a budget. All right, so let me know what you think. Is he worth adding to your collection? Do you have the other Red Skulls and you got to pass on this one or what? Sign off in the comments. Let's talk about it. All right, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications. Make sure to share a link to the channel or this video with a plastic level friend. Till next time, guess my mood Red Skull is out of here.